Okay, I've um, just going to round off today with a uh, well, today's filming with uh, just a thanks to the Lord, really, thanks to God, and um, how earlier I, was, I don't know if I've just completed a video on the uh, radio frequency smog and gave give a bit of testimony on the the pure love of Christ, and I'm been pondering that and. So I'd like to dedicate just this video to the, the, the love and glory of God and the, and the thanks, all, all the thanks to God for his son, for Jesus Christ and for Jesus Christ for revealing the Lord and God and his purpose and heart for mankind through his son, by his son and uh, how he's not demanding of that glory but just by his love and example and being all glory it you know it all, it begs all glory it's worthy of all honor and all glory for his pure heart but it's not I'm trying what I'm trying to convey is it's not expected but it's he's sovereign he's holy and everything's going to worship God he's, he's beautiful and pure and that's that's the pure love of God, the pure love of Christ shown in His Son. So that video i done today was um, sharing my heart for that which I've received from, through Jesus Christ. He's the door, he's the only way, the only, the only uh, physician, the only saviour, the only remedy of all, all the world's ills. And all those ills were put right on the cross. And because of the rejection of God, all the wickedness continues because of the rejection of God. And that's hence why it's finished on the cross. So there will be an end to the wickedness. It will come to a, a completion. And that's the, the, the great tribulation and outpouring of God's judgment. When the world is completely goes in, in its own wickedness, you know, it goes, it, it goes its own way like it does from the beginning, it runs its own course. And Christ is the, like the hub in the spoke of the wheel of life. He is the author and finisher, the Alpha and Omega. So, um, that was my hope. So I want to offer this, my thanks to, solely to the Lord and to God. And that's why you're not, not seeing my ugly mug, because I want to just show his, uh, come out of this time of night, because this is a, peaceful time of night and the birds are, s are singing in the evening it's just such a beautiful time to gather your thoughts and give thanks um, and I wanted to uh, just give a few thoughts on targeting really Ta if you're a targeted individual if you're if you fall into that category I don't personally I don't like labels and um, like uh, tags but I do like uh, you know f things like that to identify your circumstances so from that perspective as a targeted individual or a persecuted individual or hard done by person whatever you want to call it I just want to share some thoughts of, of, of really that of how I've been re-evaluating my, my own personal circumstances what's going on in the world with targeting and I, I, I think all roads lead to Rome, and if you look, if you if you're a researcher and a, a study of truth, what's truth? Because the truth sets you free, and if you research carefully, you'll see that the machinations and the the um, this targeting the individual, the MK Ultra, the world set up in iniquity, it all leads to the head of that iniquity, the whore, you know, the chief of that iniquity, which is the Roman Catholic Church and the, the hierarchy of its doctrine and, 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 that, and that which it elevates in its establishment. And this, this establishment is historically dominant. It's, it's been around since Christ times. And it's the counter-reformation against our freedoms, against our nation's rights, our God-given rights for our, our, us to independently govern ourselves in a nation uh, 
justly and rightly for the best interest of the people. That's what our nation's founded on, that's been robbed. Governments infiltrated, religions are infiltrated. It's all been brought under one yoke, an umbrella, and that's the powers working behind the force right as we speak. The power that is, and it's yet to come. It, it will, it was, it is, and it's yet to come. Just like uh, what Jesus said, I am. I'll always be, and I will. He will. I, he will return. And, and this, and because of Jesus, he revealed his holiness and pure truth, his life, and being a living, true, true witness of all that's evil in the world. When he appeared on the earth in the flesh, he revealed all what's in man's heart and how that plays out in mankind's actions and works. And those works are against God because they set up the world in unjust, unjustly in iniquity. And all this targeting is the counter-reformation and all that influences. It has a knock-on effect, a Mandela effect, the true Mandela effect, not this, you know, not, not this propaganda that the world's changing supernaturally. No, that, that's a suggestion. You need to trust the word and the scriptures, you know, that the... That there's this super force changing what's in the Word of God. Well, that, that's complete rubbish. These things have started to take legs and to, to feed controversy because once somebody takes the idea and runs with it, it becomes a divisive tool to be manipulated and it keeps people away from the truth. It's a, just another one of those things to be aware of if you're a, a truth seeker, if you're a believer. And all this targeting, this persecution, MK Ultra. It's because the Catholic Church keeps a record on the human race. So it has access to all these areas and information and it can target any area it so chooses. And it can't be proven because it does it by layers, layer upon layer upon layer. So if you're a targeted individual, I mean, and you're looking for answers. I, my research is over the over years. I've been looking at my own circumstances, and this has been a continual, um, continual flow, uh, a continuity of experiences that I've, I've I've been piecing together, and that point to this truth that the Catholic Church is against our freedoms. I'm not saying all Catholics are willingly and knowingly partakers of this. But it's an ambiguous power and it's loyally got supporters through ignorance and deception who hold it up and, and that's what it's held up by ignorance it's, it's unscriptural it's unlawful yet it's the all, all the world's leaders and religious figures don't speak out against it they quietly support it and go along with the status quo and they and they're living in a lie and portraying a lie and it's against God, and they do it in the name of God. They confess the name Jesus Christ while they're set up in this iniquitous system and yoking other people to it. So if, you, if you're a targeted individual um, and you're looking for truth, that's where my, my own, you know, don't believe me, but that's where my own study has led from all the history that's been left all the people throughout, whether they're secular, whether they're believers in God, Christians, believers in Jesus Christ, believers in this and that, they've all testified of the, of the machinations of Rome throughout our history. And, and these people rewrite history and they, they blinker the generations and they have access and they can they can target who who they f think believe that they're going to get support from, and who is going to be a problem. So they target them when they're young, before they're born, where they're going to pop up, you know. And this is a ongoing living entity of wicked, ambiguous iniquity. The servants of it come and go, but the philosophy and the evil and the doctrine behind it is established, and it's active on this earth. It's antichrist. And that's what the Lord said, and that's what all, all, all the faithful elders of the church, the apostles, the foundation of the, the, the Lord established his body, his, uh, his work, his, his foundational heart and soul through his word, through these um, witnesses, these faithful witnesses that died, who are living testament 
they died for the, f freely for the, f for the truth and that can never be taken but the Lord will allow this wickedness to unroll and he'll judge it but it will carry on going he'll judge the people who keep trying to push the ball but they will just come one after the other there'll be a new line of people to take up the iniquity and the cart rope and tow it and it's ever going to continue because the world's in unbelief so I'd like to invite people to believe to uh, to seek repentance to receive to knock on the door to seek faith in Jesus Christ and be saved and know him who lives who is and can be known and can be received and you can be forgiven of your sins all, all, all the things you've done wrong all the things that have been done done wrong against you all the people that have harmed you that you can't forgive the um, remedies in Christ the forgiveness the hope the truth the peace life joy abundance of life in whatever simple rubbishy circumstances you find yourself in there's peace today and forever wherever you are in wherever you go through in life because God's eternal and you can receive that uh, eternal gift within your heart and soul in your life and you and the Lord will shape you in his heart mind and will for, by his word by his his life his living water his his living water in the written word we don't need anybody to teach us we just need to know where to find that source where where does the lost child find the breast of life it, it needs someone to either gently lift it up there or, or it needs to be told you know it, it it needs to be adopted it needs to be it needs to be saved it needs to come to realize it needs saving and then wants that salvation and it has to ask for it to receive it it can it cannot be forcefully given it cannot be compelled to be taken it has to be found it has to be want to be found and then it has to be received and to receive it it has to be believed and the only way you'll receive Christ is if you believe him and call upon him in faith and say, Lord, have mercy on me, I'm a sinner. You need to realise the world's in sin and you're a sinner and it's lost. It's been lost from the beginning. Since sin entered the world, death entered the world and Christ has put an end to sin and death on the cross. He has the keys to... He has, he's the only... only only one who has the keys to hell and death he's the only one who can who, who, who's escaped hell and death no no mortal or angelic creature other than god has that power over that force that judgment that righteous judgment of god and that can be escaped and god is just and he, he won't be mocked he his word is his law and he can't break his word, he can't go back on his word, he can't deny himself. And he needs to be received, he needs to be sought for, he needs to be found. And the world needs to be warned. And, that, uh, and even though it doesn't want to know, it doesn't want to heed the warning, it still has to be warned. So it can say it, it was warned, and therefore its judgment it would, will be just. And Christ will be glorified in those that are saved, and he'd be glorified because those that weren't safe could have been. So all praise to God, all glory to God, all honour to God, all honour to the Lord Jesus Christ, all honour to the Father for giving us his Son, sending his Son to die, all thanks and all praise uh, to him forever. And um, I leave this in Jesus Christ's name and uh, just going to let it record a few bird sounds before us run out of memory and battery so uh, all the best to anyone listening and Maranatha
praise the Lord. Uh, just wanted to give a few thoughts about pure love of uh, Jesus Christ and uh, beautiful peace of this day. Bird singing. So I just want to share some few thoughts briefly. Just about the, the pure heart and love of God. God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. And how pure, pure, pure is. It's just so selflessly pure that it was done purely, selflessly, not for thanks, not for not not for honour, not for fame, not for worldly fame, not for worldly honour. But that love to die for all men without question. Without just by pure love and humility and obedience to that love, being true to that love, to the nature of itself. And that's who Jesus was, he was God's son, God's love, God's heart, God's, God's mercy, and that was just displayed and given freely for all to receive. And I, I just thank the Lord, I can't thank the Lord enough for receiving that love and knowing that love. And that pure love for me, and to know that Jesus Christ is God and he ever liveth to make intercession for all men for all those who are lost and don't know God, and all those beloved children that he's saved, that he, he loves so much. A love which I find hard to accept at times, a love which I don't deserve, a love where it's always freely given his mercies and patience and long suffering stretched out. As long as that's not cast behind my back or dismissed or unappreciated unappreciated but his long suffering and, and his love for me has he's shown no bounds in that love and that mercy and his love is endless his life is endless there's no beginning and end in the love of God in the nature of God there's no beginning with Jesus Christ, there's no end. He's eternal, an eternal Father. He's equal with the Father. And the Father's put him and his word, his word. He is the living word. And he's left us his word. And I heard a, a great coin, a brother coin a phrase recently, that Christianity is simply Jesus Christ. And, and I completely concur and have a testimony. And, getting uh, overcast now, overshadowed. So if your life's becoming overcast, overshadowed, you're looking for hope, I just invite you to consider that love that's displayed for you. And, it, and, and God is real, he lives. He doesn't, he doesn't need to convince you, he, he is. He's the same God today as he was yesterday, that he'll always be pure, loving, merciful. But he's just. He's a just, holy, pure God. We are unjust, we're all sinners. Only he's holy, only he's righteous, only he can save you. Only he has saved all men, if they believe and accept him. On his terms, not on, uh, on, our, on our grounds, on his grounds, on his, his will. So I invite anyone to allow themselves to be drawn to his will, his his way of thinking, his his rep repentance, which is a a change of mind, being drawn to the cross, being drawn to believe, to seek and find, and to put away sin, to desire what is right over that which you come to realise is wrong and that you are and that you can't change because only Christ has changed it. He's, uh, he's the only physician. He doesn't need uh, anybody to 
you know, tell him what to do or how to do things. And only he can heal people. And only he revealed that the whole world is sick and that he was the only physician. And he come to heal all that was sick by giving his life, by giving a holy life. That we could have that holy life, free. And that's the door, that's the beginning and the end. That's the foundation, that's the rock, that's the testimony, that's the word, that's the gospel. And that is uh, a free gift, and the world will rob that of it. Uh, you know, the devil will rob that of you. The world will rob you of, of you, that of you. All philosophies will rob that. All religions will rob that. All of our thoughts and reasonings will rob that. And uh, don't be robbed. And uh, it, repentance is like a ski lift. It, it you just wait for it. You look, you look for it, and it lifts. It carries you, and that, and that's a gracious gift of God, being drawn, drawn to that salvation. So, if you're seeking salvation I, I, and hope and, and answers, and and the truth sets you free, knowing you live in a bad world and why it's bad is a lot, a lot better than living in ignorance and fear. You know, there's no fear in God. Fear God and, the, and he'll put, help you deal with all those natural fears. Uh, and, tr and seek the living God and trust in him above ev everything else. And that will save you. He will save you. His word's faithful, his promises are true. And uh, free, freely uh, available to all men today. And... Uh, so I'm going to leave it there and just uh, pan out this, uh, this uh, overcast scene. So just an additional thought. It's um, really about who are the enemies in this world. Uh, I recently heard uh, President Donald Trump say uh, uh, about speaking out against Catholics. Now, I think his, uh, I don't know all, the, all, all of what he, he said, but the, the gist of it was about persecuting the Catholic faith. Now, I, I don't believe that any Christian will persecute any individual, but simply stand against what the Catholic Church teaches and it teaches her heresy, it's a wicked, evil system. And it, if you're not a Catholic, you're, you're marked, even if you're not a believer in, in Jesus, you're marked as a heretic. And the Catholics have got, they've got their fingers in a lot of pies. They're a, a powerful organisation, they're run by powerful people. And what you see is Christianity and Roman Catholicism is it's just a it's just a, a birthday cake in loads of tears. You don't see the owners of that cake and the table and the shareholders behind it. You see a face, an image, and behind it it's a, it's got many tentacles. And if you're not a Catholic, you're earmarked to either become one or you're never going to become one. And this is po possibly a lot, a lot of uh, where our tar targeting comes from and persecutions in this nation as a, as, as a government, as a people, and as a nation, and as individuals. So if you're not a Catholic, you are marked as a heretic. And they've yoked all religious heads, all, all local communities, and they can control it by their machinations and by their layers and connections and hierarchy, hierarchies from the dominant power. And the dominant power in the world is from Rome. And it's, it's historic. And it's been against every nation from the beginning. So for Donald Trump to say you mustn't speak out against Catholics, well, Catholics are deceived and they're, they're going to hell if they follow and believe in the Jesus Christ of what Roman Catholicism teaches as many Jesus Christ. There's only one true living Jesus, and he's 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 ever living on the right hand of God, and his gospel's completed, and it's a free gift. It's complete on the cross, 
his work's done and it's just unfolding in time. That's what revelation is. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. It's his mind and will and, and prophecy of the future. His love and concern, warning people of what's down the road. The tribulation, Jacob's trouble, Israel's trouble and the judgment and outpouring. Not this, like... Uh, the Lord um, flooded the world. He's going. To, he promised he wouldn't do that again. But this time, for rejecting His Son, He's going to. He's going to judge the world with fire and uh, judgments, and that will be from the consequences of mankind falling out and breaking down, and it will be the outpouring of heavenly um, or spiritual judgments of uh, you know an unseen unseen power that we haven't seen since that, that would have been that you read about in the Old Testament you know the God opening up the heavens and interceding and and absolutely closing the door for of his mercy and 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 just losing it in anger and judgment and that will be it and that's what he that's what revelation is it's a warning this is what the all these religions whether they're deliberately doing it or, or indirectly doing it they're robbing people of the truth and everyone has a right to speak out against that that's not um, persecuting Catholics because Catholic the Catholic law in writing if you're not a Catholic you're to be burned at the stake now they've not changed that that doctrine and people don't see that now all these um, politicians and educated people went to Oxford and Cambridge they know our history they know, they're well aware of what the Catholic Church teaches what it believes what it's done in history but why all this support and loyalty to it because it's yoked they're fearful of it it's like they're saying in their hearts well who can who can beat this beast the beast that is the beast that was and that is and is to come is to come means the power like Hitler you know the Pope had his spiritual power but he needs a world leader he needs the Antichrist he needs that figurehead in temporal power once that's in place like a, another Hitler or another world leader on his behalf then they're in business then the power that it is that is already going on in the shadows and, and behind the scenes against all lawful governments, against all lawful nations. It's an evil machination from spiritual high wicked places from Satan working through this, this system and this body of belief that gives it life. That's the beast and it's coming. And it is going to spring up on the earth with a living, powerful, authorised world leader as its head. And that's the Antichrist to come. But if you're a believer, we're not looking for the Antichrist. We're, we're looking up faithfully for our Lord. He, he's going to come like a thief. We're not, expecting an, we're not expecting the time and moment written when he comes. We're, ex, we're, we're looking for, like, you know, like the thief in the night. That's what we're expecting, the believers in Christ. We're looking for that, hope, that, that sure promise that we've been delivered from the wrath to come. We've already received his promise. We've received his kingdom in our hearts. And we're, uh, we're waiting for him. So I'd encourage any believer to uh, just keep looking up. And I pray your hearts are lifted and you're encouraged and you're, you're at peace. And... Uh, you know, you're at peace in your rest and you're at peace in your, in your service to the Lord in your life. And, uh, and anyone who's seeking that, that, that sure knowledge of that, that Jesus Christ is your, is your saviour, is your living God, I invite you to seek him for your heart and you will find him. So I'd like to end it there and uh, I wish you well wherever you are, over and out, and maranatha.